So I thought I'd do a quick video about the singularity and refer people to some of the videos that I've got linked in the description box. Obviously you can go much further than that but it's just sort of to get people thinking really. So the idea of the singularity is something which is ingrained within our culture now and it's becoming more and more prevalent and as it does so our reality becomes more and more subjective and I think that's the thing to realize is that we are all enveloped within narratives we are all telling our narratives to find our way back to selfhood and as the complexity of our own narrative develops so does that of the universe because we reciprocate each other and you know synchronicity is the universe's way of showing you yourself through something else um, you know if you don't like the idea of narratives, I suppose you could look at it from the idea of a parallel universe, if you like, but the idea is essentially the same. It's this multiplicity or, or subjectivity, um, or pluralism, if you, if you want to look at it like that. Um, you know, it, it's it's realizing the, the mirror of appearances, if you like, and um, when you look at the singularity, it poses the question, is this the beginning or the end, or maybe it's both, where beginning and end are the same thing. So I expressed in one of my earlier videos, you know, that the reality is a hologram of information. So the idea of there being a singularity, um, you know, ultimately creates a self-generated universe. The singularity has already happened, is happening, and has never happened, if you get what I'm saying. You know, it's like, um, are we being born or are we dying? Or are they the same thing? And it's, it's realizing that it all goes back into the dissolution of the self that, again, I, I talked about in um, Waking and Dreaming in, on, on the Syzygy. Because the self that you take to be yourself is forever changing. Like um, Corey Anton says, um, we are moments and experiences. Someone asked on one of my videos on language um, about why why we always have a label for something. And, you know, the reason we have a label for something is because we see ourselves as a body within a world rather than the world. You know, if you are the world, then, you know, you are complete unto yourself. You know, you know yourself to be yourself. With regards to transhumanism and the New Age movement, I mean, obviously both of them propose the idea of ascension. I mean, with with the New Age idea it's you know you ascend to a higher dimension and with transhumanism it's the idea that you ascend into the machine world like your mind becomes the substrate you you become all things you know they both um, promulgate the idea of ascension to godhood as I've said though there is nowhere to ascend to the ascension can only ever be waking up within your own dream reality is metaphor metaphor is simulation simulation is dream Dream is consciousness. Consciousness is information. What is information? Information is what? What is what? I is I. Thou art that.